Okay. Johnny Depp or Richard Grieco? Oh, that's gross. Yeah, let's not do this. Come on. If you're secure in your masculinity, you can answer a simple hypothetical. All right, Johnny Depp, because he kind of looks like a chick, I guess. What about you, Peter? Oh, man. Uh, I, well, I don't know. Richard Grieco would probably appreciate you more. You know, not take you for granted. I mean, with Johnny Depp, it's like it's like he wouldn't really need you. You know, he'd, he'd probably sneak out after you fell asleep. Of course, with Johnny, you get the financial security. I, I'd go with Johnny. Oh, great. It feels like we've been here forever. Okay, okay, here's one. What would you guys rather be, blind or a midget? Oh, that's easy. Blind. It heightens your other senses to near superhero levels. Yeah, and every woman I did would be Cheryl Teagues. <laughs> All right. Definitely blind. Oh, you guys are crazy. Hey, you don't want to be a midget? Uh, one of those funny little guys running around, getting in all kinds of shenanigans, smoking a cigar while you're riding around in a stroller? A good point. Well, I never thought of it that way. They are God's little punchlines. Okay, all right, here's another one. Black or crippled? Uh, we gave more. Hey, Cleveland, who would you rather do? Queen Latifah or Halle Berry, but she's been dead for six hours. Oh, man, that's a tough one. What'd you die of? Well, I've seen some bodies that have been dead for uh, six hours. Some of them aren't too bad. Oh, then Halle Berry. God, will you guys just shut up back there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, gross! Will you stop it? Stop it! <laughs> hey, guy. Okay, here's another one. Who would you rather do? Job of the hut right after a shower or a service droid. My father was a service droid. Hey, where are you going? You can kiss the lower part of the back of the canister that is my body. All right, Peter, this is a tough one. All right, you ready for this? Okay. Would you have sex with Cleveland if it meant you could have sex with Angelina Jolie? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd probably do it. Hang on, hang on. Missionary. And you have to look him in the eye. No closing your eyes and pretending it's somebody else. I think still yes. Thank you, Peter. All right, here's another one. Who would you rather have sex with? A very pregnant Gina Gershon or Jenny McCarthy after a car accident? Wait, wait, hey, hang on, hang on. Look, you know, you know, I, I know this is a men's club, but why does it always have to be about sex? Like, okay, okay look, how, how about this? How about this? Who would you rather start a small business with? Janet Reno after a safari or the fat guy from My Name is Earl? That still sounds like a sex question. It is not. Well, then what the hell does Safari have to do with it? What's the guy from Earl's credit rating? 651. That's not bad. Better than mine. Does he have an idea, or do I have to come up with it myself? He's got an idea, but it's not quite there. I'd have to give it to Janet Reno, because I've always had this business plan for home delivery of prescription medications, and that, that seems like it's more her market. This is stupid. I want to talk about vaginas! Okay, here's one. If you were gay and you had to have sex with either John Forsyth or Sean Connery, who would it be? Oh, that's easy. John Forsyth. Yeah, John Forsyth. John Forsyth, absolutely. That's so funny. I would also say John Forsyth. I was just curious. Yeah, I mean, Sean Connery is just so... Uh-oh. Oh, God, I am so sorry. It's too late. The damage is done. Okay, guys, I got one. Would you rather get a massage from a man or surgery from a female doctor? Wow. Like minor surgery? No, serious surgery, like a blown kidney or something. Jeez. Good question, Peter. Is the man gay? Nope. Is the female doctor at least Jewish or Asian? No, but actually, you know what? I'm going to take it up a notch. Hispanic female doctor or gay male masseuse? Hispanic from Spain? No. Oh. Oh. So it's basically, would you rather get a massage from a gay man or die? All right, I got another one. Let Amy Winehouse spit in your mouth or eat a raw slice of Anderson Cooper's ass. Sign me up for Cooper. Ah! What the hell? Okay, okay, I got one. Would you rather have dinner and then sex with Megan Fox's body with Leonard Nimoy's head on it or re-roof an entire condo complex by yourself? Oh, boy. Can I close my eyes? No, eye contact the whole time and a lot of kissing. Well, how about Megan Fox's head on Leonard Nimoy's body? I know, somehow that's better. The hybrid organism exists as I've described it. How many units are in the condo? 32. Tile roof or shingles? Yeah, because it makes a difference what you're carrying up that ladder. Wait, whose neck is it? Huh? I mean, where's the cutoff? You know, is, is it Megan Fox's neck, or am I burying my face in Leonard Nimoy's turkey gizzard? Nimoy's neck. You have got yourself a roof. I'll take the Spock-Fox intercourse. All right, Peter, your turn. Uh, 
boxes of briefs. What? That's the worst one I've ever heard. Hey, Horace, another round for everybody. Yeah! Gosh, Peter, you're really being generous with your money. Hey, what's the point of being rich if you can't share it with your pals, huh? Okay, wait, I, I got one. Who would you rather do? Susan Boyle or a sex doll that's been passed around the fraternity? Well, have they been cleaning the doll? Please, these guys are betas. They're total animals. Hey, I got one, Peter. What would you rather do? Tread water where you are right now or increase your net worth five-fold within the next 18 months? Huh? What, I, what are you talking about? Well, my friend Marty is a whiz with chemistry, and he says he's come up with a new penis enlargement pill, and if we can bankroll him $100,000 in startup money, he'll triple our investment in a year. Well, uh... Gee, I, I, I don't... Uh... Peter, I've taken the liberty of mocking up some sales projections. Wow, that's pretty good. And this would be our net profits. Yikes. You know, Peter, uh, Bonnie's birthday. Boy, I'm sure getting my money's worth out of this rental car. Okay, all right, I got one. Would you rather be a hobo with a 5% chance of getting inherited by a rich guy, or be Hitler two years before the end of World War II? Because you know you're going to have to shoot yourself, but you still got two more years as Hitler. If you're the hobo, do you uh, have a place to sleep, like an underpass, or...? Different every night. As Hitler, can I change certain policies so that maybe I'm looked on more favorably at the end of the war? No, you already screwed up big time. A lot of dead Jews. Am I a blue state or a red state hobo? Blue, but Midwestern blue. Oh, boy. Oh, it's cold out there. Am I allowed to alter the mustache? Dude, why do you keep trying to make Hitler work? Am I allowed to kill other hobos to increase my odds? Kill anyone you like, you're a hobo. Am I a walking hobo? No, Quagmire and Cleveland are, but you're not. So wait, I would also be a paralyzed Hitler? Yeah. Would I be a black Hitler? Yes. No. Oh, well, wait a minute. Now, how come I gotta be crippled Hitler and he's still white Hitler? If you got such a problem with it, Joe, just beat a hobo. This one isn't very fun. Wait a